it's time for... Do you guys remember the species that I called the Lord of Blue? Who is in fact actually a female, but I just like the term Lord of Blue. Now Lord of Blue was a Myronoides species Peleng, and that is the phasmid that we're going to cover today. And welcome back to Bug Realms. On this channel we like to discuss all things creepy crawly. So if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel. So as I said, today is our very own Lord of Blue, another species that is going to be passed on to a subscriber for a retirement home. Another that unfortunately I have no males left from. If you guys don't understand why the next few species I cover I only have odds and ends, please watch my I'll be back video and it explains it all there. So let's take out the Lord of Blue. So here we have it ladies and gentlemen, the Myronides species Peleng. So this little beauty is the Lord of Blue going away to my subscriber Sue for her retirement home. Now as you can see I call her Lord of Blue due to the fact that most her body is a bluish coloration, minus her head and joints. However, if you look in the right light, all Myronides species Peleng do actually possess an emerald sheen over the entire body. It really is one of the most beautiful phasmids you can get in the hobby. Now, I'll be honest with you guys, I don't know of any common name for this species, although I'm pretty sure people do have certain names for them, perhaps a emerald stick insect to do with the sheen, perhaps just a blue shiny stick insect, who knows, right? But I don't know of any particular common name that is often used for this species. Now for those wanting to look up this species, the PSG number is 392 and the CLP number is 343. For food plants, all I know of that this phasmid eat is in fact bramble, but it's okay to experiment with a few other plants. A lot of bramble eaters do often take to rose, among other things. So you can experiment at home, but I wouldn't suggest experimenting with ivy or privet purely for the fact that some stick insects cannot consume them properly, the toxins build up in their body and it can cause death. So that's something to bear in mind when you're experimenting with certain plants. Only certain species can handle those plants. Something that's never written in the descriptions of the Myronoides species Peleng is the yellow fragment at the end of the abdomen. It's just never brought up, so I just wanted to express that here in today's video. They do have a yellow part, ladies and gentlemen. Please add that to your future descriptions. <laughs> now you can see you've got all your segmented abdomen there with the greenish yellow joints and one of the best bits about this species is the legs, in my opinion, where you've got the darker shade of blue with lighter shades of blue dotted all the way up them, just like the antenna there as well. Truly mesmerizing looking species. Now, this species is found on the Indonesian islands. Um, I believe it's Salawesi, if I pronounce that correctly, where Peleng Island is, where these stocks were first originated from when they came into culture within our hobby. Now, the first culture of these to enter our hobby was back in 2006. So they've been around a while, but other than zoos, not that many keepers seem to possess them. And that is mind-blowing to me because they are stunning, right? Now females, like Lord of Blue here, reach around about the 10 centimetre mark, but unlike certain other species, you do tend to get slightly smaller, or noticeably smaller, females. I've had a female reaching around about 8 centimetres, which is quite a difference really for two mature specimens. But males, on the other hand, tend to reach the 8 centimetre mark, as a rather staple size, some maybe 7.5 centimetres and males often change to a boring brown coloration in their final molt. As nymphs growing up, these guys tend to be more green all the way through rather than any 
bluish coloration and they are very beautiful nymphs so it's not like they're boring to look at when you first get them either I know green is a quite a common colour among phasmids, but that emerald sheen surely does stand out against many other nymphs of various species. Now these are quite slow growers guys, uh, not as slow as some species, but you will take around five to six months to reach maturity, which does sound pretty standard among phasmids, but when they're of this size, these sort of thinner, slightly smaller, or say small to medium size, it's normally quite a difference. Normally the smaller and thinner they are tends to be how they develop quickly. And I'd expect a species like this to fully develop within four months. Now you're looking at around about 15 eggs to be dropped per week by this species, so it's not a lot, but it's not bad at all. Now for handleability, these guys are really chill. Look at this, look. I'm touching her, she's not wriggling that much. Really placid species, which is a good beginner's trait. Look how unfazed she actually is. Really, really awesome. But I still would class these at an intermediate level phasmid, based purely on humidity levels. Now humidity for these guys is much higher. I would say around 75 to 80%. That is kind of guesswork. That's not 100% accurate information. But uh, that's how I've kept mine and they have thrived. So here is me handling Lord of Blue. Again, nice and easy, docile species to handle. No playing dead, no dropping, no running or kicking, no defensive behaviours. Really simplistic lovely going to be wonderful for children as they can handle these they can look at these and admire the beautiful colorations oh i'm going to miss you lord of blue you truly are a gem oh i know sue will look after you well now the last bit of information to give you is incubation of eggs which isn't actually that long three to four month mark for egg incubation and you'll have lots of little baby myronides running around super cute right so yeah there's lord of blue i'm gonna pop her back and uh, let's do an outro there was actually one other thing i forgot to mention when filming lord of blue the myronides species pelane are not massive eaters which is another bonus for more beginner level people I know I said she's an intermediate level, but that kind of breaking point, that kind of entry point to intermediate levels, I would say they are perfect. If you can get your humidity on key, you will be fine. Because not eating a lot, believe it or not, is a massive bonus when you're out bramble collecting. Because there's nothing worse than having to do it several times in a week because you've got some greedy, greedy phasmids. Bearing in mind, that's to do with how many you have too. So if you're sitting there with 50 pellings, then <laughs> likelihood is you are going to be changing the brown ball a lot. But so there we have, we have an entry level intermediate species shown here on Bug Realms, going to my good friend Sue and subscriber. Thank you so much Sue for looking after Lord of Blue. So if you want to see what else dwells within the realm guys, make sure to pop back weekly for multiple videos and I will see you in the next one. Take care everybody. Bye-bye.